Um, hello, everyone. So uh, as you can see from the presentation by Sajid and also from the demonstration using VAPO portal, uh, you see that using the VAPO portal, there's no programming needed. And it's very ready to use. Uh, very, the, the portal has very nice visualization. Um, however, it's sometimes it's very easy to download a few raster files. But for example, if you want to, calc um, to download and to process a large amount of data, like for example, you want to process decadal data for 10 years, uh, then with, with this VAPO portal, it might take a lot of clicking and um, downloading data. Uh, that's why uh, we want to use the VAPO API, because uh, it's more time efficient to download a large amount of data. Uh, it can also uh, link with other programming language to automate processing and analyzing data by scripting. So just a brief introduction, what is the API? Uh, it stands for Application Programming Interface. So it's just a set of functions for to communicate between the VAPO database or the VAPO service with other applications like Web Access or Python or any programming language. Um, uh, in order to connect with VAPO, you need an API token. This is a unique identifier associated with your VAPO account. So in order to get this token, you need to go to the website. Uh, and uh, choose My VAPO, and in the profile session, you will find the button to generate API token. So this token is private and should not be shared with other. Um, you can save it uh, in a note in, on your laptop or somewhere. Uh, however, if you forget this, you can go back to the My VAPO website to create a new one. Um, so in this demonstration, and also in ABB demonstration, we will using the open source Python script that we developed it for uh, water productivity and assessment. You can assess by clicking on this link here. You can directly click on this link, I guess. Uh, then on the uh, GitHub web page, which is a web service to share all those uh, open source code, not only in Python, but also in other programming language. Uh, in this web page, you will find the button to clone or download. Uh, if you want to contribute or as a developer, you can clone it. Or you can also just download the zip file. So you can collect all the script um, in this uh, repository. So in order to run the script that we will demonstrate today, you will need to install uh, Python. We highly recommend that you using uh, the Anaconda Python distribution. when you install Anaconda, you will also have Jupyter Notebook, which is a web-based application, including all the text and uh, uh, picture, also instruction, and the live code, uh, either in Python or in R uh, programming language. Uh, if you are using Python, you might have already installed some of these uh, main Python package, like NumPy or Pandas or GDAL for geospatial data analysis. In case you are new to Python, you can install this package by uh, open the command prompt windows and using the pip install command with the name of the package. And then you can install this uh, Python package. So once you have an active VAPO API token and install all the Python requirements uh, and download the open source script that we provided, uh, you will be able to follow the steps in this uh, bug download VAPO with Python script demonstration. Uh, so now I would like to share my screen to show the demonstration. Okay. Abraham, please. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so is everyone seeing my screen yet?
Okay. Um. So now I hope you can see my screen at the moment. Uh, Lauren, can you check if you everyone has seen it? Yes. Okay. We can see Thank it. you. So this is a GitHub page, as I've showed you before. You can click on this uh, clone and download and to download the zip file. And then once you uh, download it and um, extract the zip file, you will get this folder called vapo.wp. Um, and in this folder, you can go directly to the notebooks folder. Here are all the steps of uh, this demonstration. Um, if you install uh, Python uh, or Anaconda distribution, uh, you can start Jupyter Notebook directly from the folder. And then here you can start Jupyter Notebook from here. So in this folder, you will find the uh, five no six notebooks from step zero to five. And here I will demonstrate how to uh, bug download data from step zero. So you click on this notebook, and then it will open a new tab. Uh, for some of you who have never used Jupyter Notebook, uh, there's something you must first uh, to know is this is where you check the status of Python kernel. Uh, if it's a circle like this, which means it's now at rest, so there's no code running. In order, in this notebook, you will find um, some cell with the code and some cell with text explanation. So in this notebook, uh, BAPO data needed for waterfront CBT assessment will be downloaded in bulk and corrected to the right unit. So in this notebook, we will download six uh, data sets, uh, actual vapor transpiration and interception, transpiration, net primary production, land cover classification, precipitation, and reference evapotranspiration. transpiration. So all of these data, except for land cover classification, will be decadal temporal resolution, and the time coverage will be from 2009 to 2019. So as you can see here, it's more than uh, 360 uh, raster per uh, variable, so it's a lot of data, and that's why we need to use the Python script. So here you will find the cell with the code inside. In order to run the cell, uh, you will need to click Run, or you can also press Control Shift. Um, this is to import some of the modules in Python in order to run the script. I will first click Run here. And then the, the VAPO module that we provide will ask you to provide the API token. Um, here I have my API token. I can copy this and paste it here. And then during that, uh, the Python script will load in the catalog information from VAPO server. Um, you will only have to provide the API token once uh, because the script will automatically save your token in this folder. If you need to revoke a new API token to create a new one, then you have to delete this file called uh, VAPO API token. So just to remind you of the step to get the API token, you need to go to My VAPO, and in this uh, session, you will see the button to generate API token. And you just have to copy this code. Uh, so now you see the number of the cell is one, which means uh, the cell has finished running. And also the status of the Python kernel is idle. Then next step, we will run this to read the shape file of the uh, study area. So in this example, I also provide a shape file of Sinavan, uh, the same with uh, Sajid. So this code here to run and to read extend. So here you will extract the um, longitude and latitude limit of the shape file. 
You can also run this cell to plus the shape file. And in order to bulk develop VAPO data so for the study area extent, first we need to define the output directory. Here I put the path to the folder that I want to save data. And then I click Run. Uh, so here we have provide a script in form of modules so that you can easily just use one function to download the data that you need. Um, here you only the land cover classification yearly. You only have to provide the um, arguments for start date, uh, end date, and uh, the extent of latitude in latitude and longitude. You can also select which level you want to download and which VAPOR version you want to download. So here, if I run the script, as you can see here, the uh, status of the kernel is busy. So now we start downloading. And during this process, it will also correct for the unit conversion of the VAPO data. So in the end, you will have uh, all the data in the right unit. Um, if you want to stop the kernel, you can also click here in the kernel and choose interrupt or restart or shut down. And then the same thing for other um, data sets. You can on also just click Run, and everything will be automatically downloaded. In, uh, For example, here I save the data in this data folder. So here's all the data has been downloaded and corrected for the unit. Uh, for example, precipitation in Decato data.